So would you like to get started in creating animated videos with artificial intelligence in ChatGPT? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. There are a few elements that you need to understand in order to continue. So what I need to do, of course, is to first of all set up having artificial intelligence tool. I am using Canva, but if you wanted to, you can try it out with Dali number two. So I'm going to go and look out for open AI into a new tab. Now, OpenAI is an actual artificial intelligence company that, of course, had a lot of products that can be helping you to get started and create a lot of tools and use them at your own favor. So what I need to do, of course, is to focus into my research, go and look out for products and go for it, it in. So if I go and look out for DALI number two, for example, what I can do is to generate images, videos, and so much more. So if you wanted to generate animation videos, what I can tell you to first of all is to understand the generation of animation concepts. So to generate animation concept using artificial intelligence, we need to input the description. You have to write a brief description of the script of what we need to animate. For example, describe a scene for a sequence of actions. Or use artificial intelligence to convert a text input into visual concept of storyboard. And then later on, discuss how AI interface to generate animation based on your input. So what I'm going to be doing here is to use the chat TPD to generate a few prompts for the actual Canva. Why am I using Canva? Because Canva is a place where you can just use not only generate artificial intelligence images, but also create videos with the actual artificial intelligence. So first of all, what I need to do is to go here in ChatGPT. Now here in the ChatGPT, I'm going to go for a new chat. Now here, let's say that I have a Canva Pro account. Now what you want to do is to tell what you actually need. I want to create an animated video uh, made of paper walking through a cheese down made of papers as well. So I use this element and what ChatGPT is going to be doing here is to help me to create an actual prompt so I can tell the actual Canva what I'm actually looking for. So I have now the images for elementary and applied to the paper texture, set up my scenes, animate my scenes, blah, 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 blah. So creating an animated video for paper mouse walking through, uh, get started with that. So as you can see, here are my storyboard of my idea. So sketch out a simple storyboard and I just used this prompt for Canva. So search for paper texture for images, create a mouse using shapes, animate the mouse walking, design building using cheese elements and add sound effects and background music. So I'm going to use this information to add it directly here into Canva. Here, what I need to do is to look out for applications. Now into applications, focus into the one that says AI powered. Here into AI powered, you can see that there is a lot of elements that we can do and use for creating our video. So let's go and look out here for the upper side, search app and go for video. So I click the. And as you can see, there are a lot of applications that we're going to be using for animation video. So if I go into image to animate, I'm going to be using this into a new design. So let's go here for custom size. And here it's going to focus into 1920. Now, in this case, what I need to do is to import an image into the design to animate. So I'm going to go back directly here into Canva. And what I need to do is to focus now back again here into all apps into magic media. Now into magic media, what you can do is to go for images and here have described what you like to create. So let's say a mouse made of a paper, made a paper walking around a cheese town made of paper. Now into my styles, I go for see all and I can choose in a specific style of what I wanted to see. So let's say that I go for vibrant and I go for generate the image in a landscape style. This one is going to be generating me an image that I can use for um, animate my actual video. And here I have motion ranged the intensity of the motion effect. Let's say, for example, only six and the motion length should be six seconds. And only one and generate another tool that I can show you to do this process is once again with the magic media so I'm going to close this and here I'm going to focus into feature now into feature what you can do is to try it out with the magic media 
So usually it appears here, magic media. So I'm gonna select this element and instead of images, let's go now into videos. So now into videos, what you wanted to do is to, let's say a mouse walking through, try to be as descriptive as you can and hit now to generate the video. The last solution that I can give you is to use beat.io. Beat.io can be helping you to generate videos from text prompts, just as we are doing here directly from Canva. And now I have an actual video of a mouse and a town made of cheese. Something really easy generated. Of course, this is not like the best tutorial so far, but this is how we can actually use artificial intelligence. Advice that I can tell you to create really amazing videos from text, which is not yet available, but you want to stay alert for all that is Sora. Now, OpenAI is, has something called Sora. Now, Sora can generate videos, real videos with artificial intelligence. And a lot of elements have now been prompted, of course, to create here and to. So be sure, guys, that you are actually aware when this Sora will be available because Sora is so far, I believe that Sora would be the best tool for almost everybody who wanted to create videos from a text prompt. So guys, with that being said, you can now reach the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools on how you can create videos generated with the artificial intelligence tool. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. Hopefully we can see you next time.